Greetings, you guys. This is going to be a general message read for the collective. So, welcome. Greetings. Okay, let's see. What is the energies surrounding the current collective? Um, I keep, I don't know why I thought that the full, I'd be getting stuff wrong, you guys. I don't really be checking nothing um, like that unless I need to. <laughs> but I don't know why I thought that the Libra full moon was earlier this week. And if I'm not mistaken, it's actually tonight, I think, or Friday night. I don't remember. I be getting stuff wrong sometimes. <laughs> and I can admit that. Um, so let's see, what are the energies? I really just been on autopilot, like really just chilling. Like my energy has just been in chill mode, really. Just floating. All right, Holy Spirit. It's the second time I saw the judgment card. What is the message for the collective, Holy Spirit? What is the message for the collective? Wow, okay. Well, I've been seeing a lot about this. Okay. Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. I'm probably not getting all the cards in frame. I'm trying my best to make sure that I do. Okay. So let me do it like this. Okay. I have four cards, as you can see, the Empress, the Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Five of Pentacles, okay? You have the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So, it's at the top. Let me see here. Wow, we got the Ace of Cups, okay? All right, well, let's tap in. I've been getting this energy a lot about marriage. Um, I have to be careful with what I say because these are general messages. This is not going to pertain to each and every one of you just because you're watching. Um, doesn't mean that this is for you. But with this Empress card, the Four of Wands, they're literally getting married. The Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Pentacles with Ace of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Okay, for some of you, you are about to step into marriage, out of singlehood into marriage, okay? If you are a woman or feminine energy if you are a male or masculine energy you're about to meet your person if you have yet already you probably already met the person that you're going to marry so some of you guys are coming out of that place of singlehood with the queen of wands into the empress energy which is i'm getting it signifies marriage some of you guys could be in an energy of lack when it comes to this i've been picking this energy up and i'm not surprised really that it came out in the reading because spirit was showing me, um, I got an email from Shein and they sell wedding dresses and stuff. I'm like, what the hell? Not Shein selling wedding dresses. <laughs> and I was so curious. I clicked on it to see and they have some decent, decent stuff. So, um, yeah, for some of you guys, that is what's happening. And I feel you guys are getting glimpses into that. Your spiritual team is giving you glimpses of you. Maybe you saw yourself in the gown that you're going to get married in. Some of you guys may not get married in a traditional attire, whether you're male or female. If you are a um, feminine energy or a female that is more on the feminine side, um, where you wear feminine clothing, I'm seeing that, like dresses, you know, whatever. Um, you may have a pink gown rather than a white gown or ivory color gown. Like it's going to be not a traditional color let's put it that way for some of you or it could be a mixture of color like pinks and and reds or burgundy it's not going to be white for some of you that's not what you want to choose i feel like you already have that in your mind i'm sorry if the camera's shaking um that's not something that you have in your mind but some of you guys feel like are you going to receive your just due and what's so interesting is that libra energy rules the seventh house which is a partnerships, marriage, and, and contracts. So this Libra energy, I feel like you guys may be getting insights into that. You feel like you're never going to have the person that you want. And I'm not speaking for those that don't care about ever getting married or having a partner. Like, this isn't a message for you. I'm not shoving anything down anybody's throat. This is for those whom this message is for. Like, you know, 
um, you're about to meet your person for some of you that you're going to marry or it has already come into your life. You just need to be embraceable of that. But that's not everybody's message. Um, if you've been with your partner, you guys are going to get married. I feel like if not this year, within the next year, like even though this person has not proposed to you, you're not engaged. I'm getting for some of you, spirit may have already given you a glimpse, given you a dream or given you you. This isn't the first time that you've heard this or you felt this in your spirit. This is something that I'm getting like you either are going to meet the person or you already know the person or you already are with the person. And I'm getting marriages this year and some of you by next year if you meet a person. If you don't meet your person this year, I'm getting at the very most, maybe for some of you, like one to four years, like in between that gap of one to four years from now, whenever you watch this. But 2022 i'm getting is just the year of marriage and i told you guys like if you guys watch my very it probably wasn't my very first video of 2022 on this channel but it was one of those early videos um of the year that um when the i was watching the clark what's it called dang it i don't remember anything <laughs> like names and stuff like it's it just fly by sometimes but i was watching the he had Ryan Seacrest and a, a female host, and they were down Times Square. You know, the traditional New Year's Eve ball drop thing that's on TV. Um, the soon as the clock hit 12 a.m., there was a guy on his knees proposing to his girlfriend, and then they interviewed them later on in the show. And I was like, I heard God give me the confirmation because I already felt that before months before 2022 hit. I'm like, 2022 is going to be the year of en engagements and marriages, unions and things like that. And I just I felt that. And that was the confirmation that God gave me. And then I seen a, a YouTube couple, a young YouTube couple that I used to watch a few years back. And they finally they got engaged um, a couple of days before the new year. And I've seen it. I happened to see it on January 1st, 2022. I seen their post and I was like, wow, okay. So I'm saying this, I'm prophesying this um, for those of you that it's for that. This is the message that God is giving that you are going to meet your person this year with you don't get married because it's very possible you can meet your person in May and get married in November, like it of this the same year, like trust me. But, um, if not married this year, then possibly for some, like, I feel like a good majority of you this year to next year. And then for some, maybe no later than four years, like in between that time frame. But if, especially if you're pessimistic, I feel like if not during this time of this full moon, then whenever you watch this, it's timeless. That you're going to get that. God is going to show you a dream or give you, I feel like an, a lot of, of, confirmations to let you know and in some small cases God may give someone close to you a dream to relate to you in regards to that okay you have rapture sensuality love devotion romance ecstasy and pleasure that is the energy that is coming to you okay you have the child within it says inner mother innocence gentleness and tenderness this is going to be a beautiful connection the four of wands is going to be very embracing. i feel like your families are going to embrace this connection and embrace each other i feel like it's going to be a smooth transition it's not going to be something that you have to force yourself into the codes of seeds codes of the seeds the blueprint is within you take the next step so you're being divinely guided and divinely led into this connection into this coming together the holy grail is to stop the endless searching yes inner quest when you stop looking for love and looking for outside of yourself and all of that and because okay see the energy of lack the six of pentacles was in reverse so it's this feeling like nothing's coming to me it was in reverse like god forgot about me or my spiritual team or everybody else well what about me you know that type of vibe i know because i be you know, I've really been healing out of that energy because I genuinely, this is just a transparency and just me sharing, you know, as an example, that you're not the only one that may be dealing with that type of energy, that pessimistic view. 
but I'm genuinely happy for people like people that I feel um, deserve and I shouldn't say that nobody deserves love but the people that I know have went through a lot of pain a lot of hurt and they they mean well these are good people I, I get happy when I see that so it's not like a jealousy like ugh, why it's just it makes me feel like okay that's beautiful guy but like what's like what's up like <laughs> you know you have to get out of that energy that five of pentacles energy and and shift the way that you see it and when you stop looking outside of you for that love that you wish to seek and you truly focus on the inner self and happiness within yourself you're going to attract this even if it still applies even if you're in a connection right now some of you may not be with the person you're supposed to be with but i feel like i'm not going to tell you something you don't already know some of you may already know this or you've been wrestling with that that this is not the person i'm supposed to be with you know and it's okay if you get it wrong like child i got a whole testimony about that it's okay if you get it wrong you know but as long as Whenever you make that decision, if it, this is applying to some of you that are in situations where you know that that's not your person, when you make that declaration that this is not it and you, you make room for it to go, then you are allowing yourself room and space for what is for you, okay? But for some of you, it's like, even if you're in a relationship or union, you might still be waiting and thinking that that's going to complete the connection or make it better or make it whole and serious like no you still got to find joy and happiness even though you have a person for some of you this is not everybody but it could be like your person if you are in a relationship they're having a hard time um expressing you know maybe their fear surrounding marriage um telling you that they want to get married it's something here that's blocking their throat chakra Holy Spirit, what is the message? Because the Empress is all about self-worth and self-love as well. And she has enough to give and enough to go around. So, you know, the pink attire to me is a symbol of self-love and unconditional love. There's a lot of pink imagery in the cards. Like even in the wedding, there's people and you see the people, the silhouettes of the party guests at this wedding, they're pink. So there's people that genuinely love you in your person surround yourself with people that love you and i feel like at your wedding you may have just maybe just a small it's not going to be like this big wedding like kim and kanye broadcast princess diana and prince charles type wedding it may be something very intimate whether you know a lot of people or not it's going to be something very intimate where you have people there that you know loves you that you don't have people with red flags around you these are people with you know healthy flags people that you know for sure love you and love your person and want to see the best for you guys you don't want no evil eye at your wedding you know what i mean you have closing circle it says pure intense sacred doors timing and experience so for some of you guys are called to close out some karmic cycles close out some karmic connections karmic connections don't have to just be romantic it could be job partnerships a job environment a living situation um you know bad blood bad family around you or member um bad friends false friends around you like once you close and even the karmic cycle within self and you make a clear declaration to, to really close those doors it's only a matter of time before this blessing comes to you okay it's only a matter of time the number 35 has been coming up a lot. A lot of um, cards in my readings that equal eights, like numbers eights. So some of you guys could be 35, okay? Maybe you're going to get married at 35, okay? If you are 35 or about to turn 35, congratulations for most of you. That is the age that you're going to get married. Um, but I'm seeing that the eights represent a cycle and it could be a karmic energy that's coming to a close and coming into balance and coming into harmony as well. It could represent harmony and balance. So, yeah. And some of you guys, I feel like some things you do need to keep sacred. So it may be best that you keep your connection um, to yourself or just between maybe 
those that you trust or maybe a couple few and just you know even those that you do trust is maybe only certain people that understand or those that have the ability to see or the sight to see like i said some of you guys may have someone that comes to you and says this like i saw a vision of who your husband or who your wife is going to be or your i saw a dream of you getting married so i had a beautiful dream about a loved one close to me getting married and i pray that that happens for her soon so you know it sometimes it's just meant to be shared between you and the people that you know can understand or have the ability to um you know speak life and love over your situ you know your your experiences your situations um pray for you prophesy for you whatever um rather than people that are going to be in your ear telling you negative things or shaming you for still being single or still being with somebody that maybe you dated for some time whatever you know don't let nobody rush you or rush your process or tell you how your process should go everybody's experience is different it's not going to be one way or the cookie cutter and and even if you're taking the road of you might be like oh well i gotta be out dating no you don't like if it's time if it's your time regardless if you're dating you're not dating if it's your time it will happen when it's time okay so just use your discernment fully and thoroughly even with this that i'm giving you please um discern the message and take it to the divine even if it sounds like something you already felt or knew just you don't want to hang on to something <clears throat> that's not for you okay so use your discernment as always much love is always be best be safe